When you first learned about fetching data in JavaScript with async await, you probably learned by making one fetch request and awaiting for the returned promise to resolve. If you need to fetch data from two sources and await both requests in succession, you're creating a waterfall. And this serialized process can be necessary if the second request depends on data from the first request. This is what you see in this waterfall function. The second request relies on the user ID received in the response from the first request. However, if your second request doesn't depend on data from the first request, you can make your application more efficient by requesting data in parallel. In this parallel function, notice that the await keyword is not used before the fetch functions. Both requests start immediately. And then the promises for both users and posts are passed in an array to promise.all. The results of promise.all are what we await, and the results of each promise are provided as elements in the results array. So just to review, 